Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about the array index out of bound exception. So we will see when this error can occur in our code and how to handle this particular error. So as we can see, the error is array index out of bound exception. This is related to array, right? So let's first declare and initialize the array. So let's say we have an array of type integer. So int, let's say num is the name of array and then i initialize the array to some values let's say 10 20 30 40 and 50 so here i haven't provided a size to array but i have directly initialized values to array so compiler will automatically calculate the size of array by counting the number of values assigned to it so here five values are assigned so the length of array will be five starting from index position 0 till index position 4 and if I try to print this array now for int i is equal to 0 i less than num dot length so this will return me the size of array size of array means how many number of elements present inside this array so here 5 elements are present so num dot length will return me 5 and we want to continue till num dot length less than i why because index position of last element will be 4 so that's why we want to continue i less than num dot length and then i plus plus and let's print here sys out num of i and if i run this code now so see we are able to get the array here 10 20 30 40 50 so this code is working fine because here the statement written is correct because we want to go till fourth position first time i will be zero then the num of zero will be printed then i will be one num of I, one will be printed then two num of two will be printed then three num of three will be printed then four num of four will be printed right so num of four is 50 when i becomes five so five is less than num dot length so num dot length is returning me five so five is less than five no so that's why it is not going inside the loop but when i provide the condition here when i is less than equal to num dot length so what will happen it will also go inside the for loop when the value of i will be 5 so if it goes inside the for loop num of 5 so what it will print because we don't have a value for num of 5 the last element which have which we have is 50 and which is present at num of fourth index position and not fifth index position but if I provide this condition here, then let's see what will happen. If I run this code, so see here we are getting the error which says exception in thread main java.lang.array index out of bound exception 5 because the array doesn't have a value for index position 5, right? So, how to avoid this exception? So, you can provide try and catch block so we have already covered the topics of exception handling so you can also watch that videos i will provide the link in the description here we how we can handle it so whatever the code that can throw an exception that needs to be enclosed inside the try block so this is our code which can throw the exception so we will enclose it inside the try block so i will say here try block and i will close the try block here so this is my code which will be inside try block and why we are getting here error because try block must be followed by a catch block or finally block here we haven't provided catch or finally so that's why it's giving me error which says insert finally to complete try statement so i will provide here catch block catch and here the curly braces so catch is used to catch the exception thrown inside the try block so here we know the exception is thrown because as we are getting here error and here we can provide a exception exception e this is the object of exception and we can print here sys out e dot get message and if i run this code now so see now we are not getting any error here right because we have handled the exception so what is happening here 
first the five elements are printed 10 20 30 40 50 and then we are getting this file why we are getting this file because here we are saying e dot get message if i just say here e let me remove this part e and if i run this code so see here we are getting a message that we have got exception but it is not interrupting our normal code execution because we have handled the exception here previously we were getting error here it says java.lang.array dot dot index out of bound exception for fifth index position right so when previously i said e dot get message so it printed only this particular part here so in this way you can handle the array index out of bound exception and whenever interviewer ask you when you can get the array index out of bound exception then you can provide this particular condition when you say your for loop will iterate till less than equal to array dot length then in that case you will get this exception and how to handle this exception i have shown you in this code so that's it in this video we will cover another topics in next video thank you for watching